In this video, I wanna go over some Doppler settings that are a little bit more uncommon, but you may encounter them and you may need to know how to use them in certain circumstances. And the three things we're gonna cover are going to be, one is wall filter, the other is gonna be steer, and the last thing is gonna be angle correction. So uh, once again, I said um, these are a little bit more uncommon, but uh, you may need to use them uh, when you're in a pinch. So the first thing we're gonna go over is called wall filter. And this may sound a little intimidating, like, oh, what's wall filter? It sounds so technical. Uh, but literally all wall filter is, is um, okay, let's go over this example where I'm using a pulse wave Doppler. So I've activated pulse wave already. And for this example, I'm just increasing the gain. This is not actually of any structure. I'm just putting some gel on a probe and then uh, increasing the gain all the way. What I really want to show is, see this black line right here? Right, so the ultrasound is not um, sending you these signals, these low velocity signals, and that's basically what a wall filter is. It's just filtering out lower velocities so you don't see them so that you can decrease the amount of artifact that you're seeing on your image. All right, so I'm increasing the gain all the way, and here I'm scrolling to see the wall filter function right here. So let's go ahead and uh, activate the wall filter or just press on the wall filter function and when you activate there you can see that when I decrease this right here so when I'm activating the wall filter and I'm bringing it all the way down here you can see it's at 0.4 centimeters per second so it's not showing you anything that is 0.4 centimeters per second or lower so basically it's going to show you everything right because 0.4 centimeters is a really low velocity conversely if i increase the wall filter now i bring it all the way up to that's it that's almost at 30 centimeters per second right there so it's not going to show me any signals that are 30 centimeters or less so that's why this is going to be all dark right here so the higher you increase your wall filter, the more you're gonna filter out lower velocity signals, and the lower you put it, the less you're gonna be filtering out. So right here, we're, we're filtering out a lot more uh, low velocity signals here, okay? So that's a uh, wall filter, hope that makes sense. So the next concept we're gonna go over is called steering. Now steering is a function that you can use with color Doppler when, you have a, when you're using a linear probe. So um, let's just go over how this works here. So when I have a, have a linear probe right here, I wanna activate color Doppler. As you can see, the box looks like a square box right here, okay? And as we know, um, you want flow to be either going towards or away from your probe. And when a flow is like this, when it's perpendicular, you're not gonna be able to detect good Doppler signals. That's why you're gonna see a lot of blues and reds in here, okay? So let's see what happens when we activate that. You see how that's a lot of, uh, let me scroll through that a little bit, but you see how, right about here, you see how this is all jumbled in there, the reds and the blues, because the, the signals aren't either going away or towards it, it's just kind of going perpendicular to that, right? So sometimes you just can't get a good angle with your uh, when you're on color Doppler. So what you can do is a, a function called steering and you can see it over here There's a steer button right here and Okay, so now we've activated the steering here. Okay, so here you can actually see that the blood flow is going away from the probe right here and this will steer the angle so that it doesn't it brings the angle so it's not at 90 degrees anymore it's more of a 20 degree angle right here, okay? So when you can't get a perfect angle on your color Doppler, sometimes you just have to use a steering mode in order to get better uh, color Doppler signals, okay? So this is steering, but you can see how there's a big difference now. Before you could only see blues and reds, but here you can clearly see that this blood flow is going away from this probe. So the last setting I wanna go over is something called angle correction. And this is a setting that you can use with pulse wave Doppler on certain machines. And sometimes, for example, this vessel right here, maybe this is the best angle that you can get on your 2D image uh, of this vessel. So you know if you do a, a Doppler, it's, not, it's going towards the probe, but the angle is not quite optimal in order to get the best signal possible. So here, I'm gonna activate a pulse wave Doppler. So you can see here, if I 
measure the flow here, yes, you will see a forward flow, but it's not going to be an optimal uh, uh, optimal measurement. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and activate. So here, I'm act I've activated it, and I I want you to really notice not just the type of waveform that is coming out or the that the, how the waveform looks, but actually what is the peak measurement right here, okay? So we're gonna measure that here, and it is, we're gonna pause it, and we're gonna measure it, and it's about 30, I'm gonna bring the caliper down. Okay, so you see here, it's about 30 centimeters per second, okay? The peak of these, uh, uh, systolic waves right here okay all right so now let's go back to our 2d image and I want you to notice something um, see this green line right here this refers to your angle correction so you can actually adjust this line and if you line it up parallel to whichever vessel that you're looking at it will attempt to correct the angle and uh, make your Doppler Doppler signals more optimal as if your the vessel was actually going towards the probe itself. So let's do that here. So here you can see that I activated it without the angle correction and you can see that the peak wave is about 30 centimeters per second here. And I'm going to, if you notice here, I clicked on this angle correction and now I'm decreasing the angle to 45 degrees. And now you can see this cursor starts to move, right? And I'm gonna make it just parallel to that vessel here and as you can see now it's parallel and the waveforms look pretty much exactly the same as before but you'll notice something that the scale here changed okay and when we take the measurement you're gonna see a very big difference in terms of the measurement so right here we're gonna activate our uh, measurement or calipers and I'm gonna drag this over here so now you see it's actually 83 centimeters so it doubled or like more than doubled our velocity just by correcting that angle so using angle correction is very important and can be very helpful when you have when you don't have that optimal um, angle of your vessel going towards your probe all right so uh, anyways i hope that was helpful and uh, once again we just went over a uh, wall filter Right, uh, we went over steering for color mode, and we also went over angle correction for pulse wave Doppler. Um, just wanted to reiterate that you know these might not be the most common settings or the most basic settings, but as you can see, these settings can make a very big difference if uh, if you need them uh, and if you really want to optimize your Doppler settings.